What's up YouTube, this is Zebo here with another tutorial for you guys today in After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is just how to get some nice um, color flashes. A lot of you have been asking me how to do this and all this is going to involve is a plugin called Twitch from Video Copilot and I'll put the link in the description. So um, what I have here is a clip from Zone JL and I just added a little bit of Twixter right here so I could show you guys um, the flashing beats and if you guys don't know how to use Twixter I will put an annotation on the screen or a link in the description right now um, where you can go check out my Twixter tutorial and then all I've done after that is just make a new adjustment layer by going to layer new um, adjustment layer and then what I'm gonna do now is just come over here and Go to our effects and presets video copilot twitch or you can come over here make sure you have your adjustment layer selected and go to video copilot twitch and if we look at this now you can see that there's not much of a change so what we need to do is actually just come to where we want the flashing to start and hit both of these little stopwatches and come to our enable and what we need to enable is color light or color and light and so um, now if we look through this we can see that it's just kind of flashing a little bit and if we go ahead and ram preview this let's see let's go ahead and disable that audio and then if we ram preview this for just a little bit you can see that it's just kind of flashing and um, if you guys like that kind of flash then you can just stick with that and if you want to change it up a little bit just co come down here to your operator controls um, go down to your color and I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to like a lime green and just turn all the way up the color randomize turn up the color amount to about 750 and change the color twitches per second to about 75 as well so now if we look at this we can see that it's kind of flashing a bunch of colors and um, what we can do now is actually just bump up that unique color seed to about 100 as well. And so now we can come down here to our light and make sure this light behavior is set on brighter and go ahead and change this to about 15. And now if we look at this we can see that it just flashes really bright and we can go ahead and change that light amount to about 75 as well and just minimize that and so now let's see if we can ram preview this really quickly and go ahead and play it and you can just see that it's flashing lights and a lot of you guys have been asking me how to do that effect um, with the different lights and so um, what we can do now is actually keyframe this and so let's go ahead and come down here to our effects tab go to our output control and let's change it to about right here it's gonna go back to 100 speed and so now the clips gonna go regular speed and so what we need to do is come up here to our adjustment layer and click on the effects drop down twitch and then just make sure we're right there where our full speed started and we can see that it stops flashing and we can actually move this a little bit forward and then let's say that we wanted to flash once more whenever we get to the actual shot so just find the actual shot um, go back one frame and make sure those are both set at zero and then come forward a frame and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, control click or highlight both of those hit control C on my keyboard and then make sure we're forward one frame and then hit control V on our keyboard so now if we look at this we can see that it's flashing all the way through and then we actually need to move this back a little bit so just highlight those and then it's gonna stop go normal speed for a second and then right when he hits it it's gonna start flashing again and so guys you can just keyframe these this effect and mess around with it to your own likings um, if you need to sync it with the beat um, all you need to do is go to your twitch and just mess with the speed and the amount and 
just keyframe it to where the beat starts and where the beat ends and it's not really a very difficult effect but a lot of you guys have been asking me how to do it and so um, just make sure you have this plugin twitch the link will be in the description and so thank you guys for watching and this is Zebo. Um, don't forget to comment like and favorite your tutorial suggestions and so thank you guys once again for watching and I will see you next time.